Morning, everybody. I'll give Facebook a minute or two to let everybody know that we're live. Now I'm behind as usual. I swear I'm going to be late. On the world. Oh. It's like never ending. I'm just not, I don't know, too much going on. Too much craziness. Good morning, Leanne. How are you, my dear? I should have had some of this work done already, but as usual, I'm behind the eight ball. I'll show you why I'm behind on the eight ball because I was working on one of my camera ball events projects yet last night. I swear though, there's just never enough time in the day to do everything that I have to do. It's just not, I think I need to clone me. I'm good, about as good as could be expected. This year has been pretty crappy for me though. Um, if you don't know by now, I lost one of my fur babies this weekend, this past weekend, which, you know, let's face it, she was old. So I kind of understand it. Good morning, Fran. How are you? Um, and I've expected it. It just doesn't make it any easier. Because it's just not. It's not a good feeling. She was almost 17 years old. And I've had her since she was an itty bitty baby. She was only seven weeks old when we got her. She was literally almost 17. So she definitely lived a very good life but it's still crappy that's the second dog I've lost this year my other one was almost 14 years old and I had her since she was seven weeks old so it is what it is thanks Fran all right, today we've got block 57 and 58, but I wanted to show you a few things first. Okay, check it out. If you are familiar with camera bells fill in the blank, this is our September blank. Well, it's not completely done. I just have to put the, sew the back on. This is the little bench buddy pillow, Peppermint Ave. And it's cute. And if you buy the kit, this is what you get in my kit. The difference is I'm gonna give you two options for the poll. Okay, there's a green and white option and there's a red and white option. And then you get a, a piece for the yo-yo on top. And no, I did not hand sew it because I don't do anything by hand. Thanks, Leanne. It is, it's very hard. But I just wanted to give you a quick peek that's what you get in the pack, which is the design for the kids. It for the, 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 the embroidery design is in the kit. 
Plus you get all of these fabrics and leathers and glitter. And the only thing you don't get is stabilizer and thread, but everything else is included. So that will be shipping out. I'm hoping by the second week in September, I'm waiting for um, another order for the embellishment part. So all of the leather and stuff from Kimberbell that has not shipped yet. So I'm hoping. Now this one is sold out, unfortunately, but I've been working on my Too Cute to Spook event projects. September and October is going, September, October, November is going to be really crazy. I've got events almost every weekend, but I thought I'd show you a few of the items that are in this event. Isn't it cute? So that's what I was busy working on last night. It's like, oh, between getting, having, I have that embroidery machine going. Sometimes I have this embroidery machine going. I have my other machine going. It's like crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm trying to think of what else. We've got a ton of classes scheduled because the, uh, cl the class schedule for September and October are already done. We're doing a one block wonder class, which includes a kit. Um, of six already cut panels plus one panel for the center. So I will demonstrate how to cut the fabric, but you won't have to. I want to go more into the design aspect and it's much easier than waiting for everybody to cut up all of their panels. So that's the one class. We've got two different bag classes, three different bag classes in the next two months. Um, I have the landscape seascape class, which I haven't completely decided if I'm going to do online or not, but um, I might. We'll see. Other than that, it's a lot of crazy busy. And my video has just, oh, there it is. My video had stopped for some reason. I don't know. It froze. All right. Let's get down to the blocks. Um, and get going. If you have a class that you're interested in, or you might be interested in, let me know. I'm not guaranteeing that I will make a class for you, but you never know. That's how I get a lot of my class ideas. I'm also working on a paper piece pattern class that's going to be really fun because we don't have to take any of the papers out. And we we'll all pre-printed for you. I'm like super excited. All right, let's get this show on the road. I don't think there's anything else back there new. Oh, one of the other pieces in the class. Oh my God. Here then. This cute little lollipop cover. Isn't that cute? Anyway, we got a lot going on. Like never ending. I have a lot of events. And they've got a new event for January. It's a Valentine's event. So I think I'm not going to schedule that one if I do until January. But it's cute. I'll post some pictures once I get my schedule together. All right, let's get this show on the road, everybody. So I don't know why my video is freezing, but it is. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Well, hopefully you guys can see everything. I think you can. It's just my video is lagging for some reason. So here is block 57. It's going to be really, really simple. Really simple and fast. Okay. All we're going to do is sew these two pieces and each of these rows together and then sew all of them all of the rows to, together after that there's no seam alignment at all so it's super super easy and all i'm going to do is chain piece why because for my machine i like to chain piece it's easier
What else is going on with everybody? I know Fran's been sewing. What have you been up to, Leanne? Now, the reason I'd like to chain piece is because many, many brothers and baby locks, for some reason, if you don't have a leader or an ender, more a leader than anything else, and that's a piece of fabric that you stitch in there before you stitch the fabric that you actually want to stitch, has a tendency to want to suck um, the beginning piece of fabric into the sewing plate. So I have found one saves me a lot of aggravation. So I don't have to do, um, keep cutting my thread and lift up the foot and restart the sewing to have to chain piece. So chain piece is much, it's not gonna save a lot of time, but for me, it does save a little bit of aggravation. And all that means is chain piecing is continuing to sew without breaking your thread. So you just feed your pieces in one after another. So all I'm gonna do is iron these seams with a little piece on top, Let's go through. If you haven't heard it before or seen one of the videos, um, I highly, highly recommend Beth Press. Um, especially when you're doing a lot of little piecing, it really does help in your piecing. All it is is a starch alternative. Um, it's amazing for getting wrinkles out of cotton fabric better than steam. I don't steam a water my iron ever. Eventually, I don't care how expensive the iron is, they always leak. So I just stopped putting water in the irons a long time ago. We use best press instead. Ah, you're gonna need a good event. Don't get me wrong, I like Anita. I love the designs. They're amazing designs, but 99% of them are just too thread intense for me. As a digitizer, I end up taking a bunch of thread out of the design before I even stitch it. It's just, and they take too long. That's why I like other people more. I mean, I have my fair share of Anita Good designs, let me tell you. I was all access the whole works, but they're not my absolute favorite. I like Hoop Sisters and I like a few other people, but they are beautiful, that's for sure. That's why I like Hoop Sisters. Hoop Sisters blocks are done in 30 minutes or less. And most of the time, the quilting is seen from the back. I have a new one that we're getting sometime the end of September. It's called Diamonds. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So I'm looking forward to that one. And we'll probably start teaching that in October, even though it's not on the schedule yet. But as soon as that comes in, I'll be playing. Plus, you, I love Battleizer. Hoop Sisters came up with um, Battleizer, which is batting and stabilizer in one. So if you're using a design in the embroidery machine that calls for batting, we just hoop Battleizer and quilt right on that and embroider right on that. And it saves a lot more hassles and a little bit of aggravation. And it's a, it is expensive, but when you consider the cost of stabilizer and batting together, it's not that expensive. And it was created with the help of Hoop Sisters by Quilt Dream Quilted, um, Quilted Dreams Batting, which is the only batting that I sell because I love it. Well, look on my Facebook page, Leanne, and you'll see um, 
all of the different Hoop Sisters quilts that we've done in the past. And the new one, Diamond, is up there too. I think I posted it last week. It's really cool. And I teach Hoop Sisters. Hoop Sisters has a mystery quilt every year that everybody usually goes crazy over. Okay, so now all I'm doing is sewing these rows together. I know I should have cut out the full, but or switched cameras, I should say. And I have a ton of CDs, Leanne, for Hoop Sisters. A ton. What happens when you become a dealer? We've got a lot. All right, so now I'm just gonna iron my little rows and then we can sew these three pieces together and guess what? Block is done. I can't believe we're already in the 50 block zone, soon to become on the 60 blocks. This is quilt is a hundred blocks, a hundred different blocks. So every week we're doing two blocks. They're usually pretty easy blocks. Um, I like this quilt because it's a great quilt to master your seam allowance, master your half square triangles and flying geese. So, and it's a great stash buster. Not saying I'm an expert because by far I am not, but I enjoy simple piecing every once in a while. It really is a nice option and it doesn't happen very often. What else is going on? Okay. Now I do most of the piecing on this quilt with a scant quarter of an inch. Why? Because there is a ton of tiny piecing and I find it's better to do a scant quarter of an inch and cut your block down to size than it is to try and do an exact quarter. Um, if, as I said in the beginning though, if you are doing a full quarter of an inch and you are consistent with your blocks, so instead of them being, for instance, this is not the size, but just for the heck of it, let's say they're supposed to be eight inch or eight and a half inch blocks and you're cons consistently, um, seven and a half inch, then don't worry about it. Just keep your blocks at seven and a half inch. So your quilt isn't gonna be as big as it says on the pattern, who cares? But um, at least you're, you'll be consistent. So you do not have to do a scant quarter of an inch. I like to do a scant quarter of an inch, but if you're trying to master your quarter of an inch seam, then go for it. Consistency is the key though with this quilt. Whatever you do, do it consistently. All right. First block is done. You see it? Now we're gonna work on the next one. Ugh. I'm not okay. Put it in the pile. I gotta start, gotta get that quilt off of the claw off of my long arm so I can start quilting this and having some fun because I have a ton of um quilts that I wanna do. 
I have a lot of quilting videos that I want to do. From medallions, I want to quilt this quilt because it's already done over there. Um, a whole bunch. I do have a lot. A lot, a lot. Swear, all of this white and white on white, sometimes it's hard to tell the front from the right side of the fabric from not. Okay. We're going to do half square triangles again. Now, we've done a lot of them in this class, in this group, but I'm going to do them two different ways. One with a line drawn from corner to corner, and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side of that line. One without the line, because I have this grid glide. So by using my foot and the lines on the grid glide, I can make sure I'm pretty close to where I need to be. All right. Leanne, you want to get in on. Oh, uh, the bed block of the month. Are you talking about the Saturday sampler? Because that will be around. You'll be able to sign up for that one again in November. Because I only allow a limited amount of sign up before we cut it off. So I make sure I have enough kits and know what I'm doing, which is very rare. Okay. So I started with this. This is the quarter inch foot with the guide. I started with the guide right on this corner and I'm following this line with this corner to make sure I'm where I wanna be. Now here's the one with the line again. We're going to put the guide right on the line. And so that's one side that's got the quarter of an inch. Okay. That's what I was trying to figure out. Like, huh? Yeah, that's usually the Saturday sampler is usually uh, a lot of people to start signing up around November, December, and it usually starts. It start in January, but sometimes it start in February. It just depends on, um, ooh, I messed up on this one. Okay. It just depends on how quickly I can come up with a design. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not so much. I like this year's, but I like every year's design too. Um, okay, so that one is good. This one, not so much. So I'm gonna try that little part again. Okay. I'm gonna turn it around. Again, put the guide right on the line. Now, and of course my scissors not here. All right, we'll just use this one for now. Now, all you do is cut on the line. And this is the one that we did on the block guide without the line. So we're just gonna cut in between the two stitch lines. And there you go. There's one half square triangle and here's the other. Now we're gonna use two of the, four, uh, three of these four half square triangles in our block. And the other one we are going to put aside for a future block. Cause we do have a few extras, not a lot but a few, we've been able to use most of them already. So let's see, we've got, mm -mm. the iron. I 
I finally have got some of these make the cut videos up on YouTube. They're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But if you're following along, they're up there. They're not my best work, I can tell you that for sure. Oh well, such is life. I'm not a perfectionist. I'd much rather have fun. I would much rather enjoy myself. Quilting is supposed to be fun. If it's not fun, then you're doing something wrong. All right, here is our block. There's a little bit of seam alignment of seams, but not a ton. So I'm just gonna take this one row at a time and then sew our rows together. Actually, I'm just gonna chain piece all of these and then lay them back down. Much as possible. Told you, I do a lot of chain piecing wherever possible. It's just easier. Now, actually, we should cut these blocks down. The half square triangles are just slightly bigger than we need them to be. And I don't recommend doing what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because of time. They're like maybe a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna use my scissor. I know it's bad, but normally I would suggest that you use your square ruler and cut them down. They're not super oversized, just enough. This one, they're just a scant too big. And all I'm doing is putting one point down here and one point on the diagonal up there. So I know I'm not missing my cut and I'm just, we're talking like an eight. Normally I would put this on my cutting, cutting board and actually cut, square them up. And I have square up videos, I think already on YouTube. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One more. All right, there we go.
want this to be fun. I liked working on this quilt. I think it's a lot longer than I expected though. But it's a good basic quilt. It's not hard and it's going to give you the chance to really hone in on your skills. A lot. Now, I know some of these seams are going to line up. Hopefully, they're going to nest. So, let's see. Yeah. Well, figuring that out. I've also been working on my real work. I'm fun too. I, I love real work. If I could sit there and do real, nothing but real work, I probably could. It's one of the few classes I wish I could teach. I could teach some of the real work online, but for a beginner, really need the first two classes in person because it's very hard for me to figure out what you're doing wrong and get you to stop in the beginning if I can't really see what you're doing. And sometimes there are issues as far as, because everybody's machine is different. You know, threads and making sure you've got the right needles and different threads in the bobbin. And so it's kind of a fine, fine tuning. But I think I'm gonna do Oh, uh, the arc class online, which is, I'm going to say, experienced beginner class. How's that? So it's not going to be for someone who um, hasn't done real work before at all. But if you have some experience, even a little bit, and you have at least one ruler and the ruler foot, you can do that class. The whole class is done with one ruler, which is fun. It's a lot of fun. What can I say? I really do like ruler work a lot. All right. Here we are. We're almost done with this block. So we're going to sew these together, these together, and then these together, and sew our three rows. So we are almost home. If I have extra time, which is going to be close, I'll go grab my blocks that I've been working on for ruler work. Um, show you. I'm almost done with the border. Once I'm done with the border, then I can put it all together. It's a quilt as you go class quilt. And Now, I'm just making sure my seams are going to line up row to row. And I want them to nest. That means one seam is going in one direction, and the other seam is going in the opposite direction.
Let's see the picture. It. All right, now we've got to sew our rows together. So in each row, we've got one matching seam out of all these seams, that's it. And so we've got this top seam going this way, the bottom seam going this way. And where they butt up against each other, that's called nesting the seam. And if you do it correctly, they will align perfectly. This is a great quilt to learn how to do this on because you are going to have a few now i'm going to be sewing from here down i've got my pin on an angle so that i can stop with my needle down right in the seam before i take the pin out sometimes just taking the pin out is enough to throw the seam off you, you know you can do all of this pinning and make sure it's perfect and the minute you take your pin out it moves it just enough All right, good enough, really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, now we just gotta put this last one on. And again, we've got just this one seam right here that will line up. All you can be working on is trying to make sure your seams are neat. Not going to be the end of your quilt if they're not, but working on keeping your neat while you're piecing will help you later on when you're actually quilting. So you don't have a big bulky nest underneath when you're trying to quilt the quilt. All right. Here's the next one. And I know they don't look like much like this, but um, when you put them all together, it's going to be great. All right, hold on. Very good. A quick couple of minutes before I got to open up the door. So I have three more borders to work on. Now you can't set tell from that side, but this is the back. Whoops. So maybe you can see the quilting. It's a little bit harder to see. Well, I, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can see it just slightly. So I've got three more of those to do. Here are my cornerstones. And I think I've got to figure out what I'm going to be doing in as additional quilting in here, but I haven't decided yet. And then here are the nine blocks. Whoops, for the center. I really do love roller work. And these are done as quilt as you go. So the backing is already on there when we quilt them. And we're going to put them together with um, sashing. Oops.
quilt. It's not a beginner beginner because you really do know, know to how to use rulers, at least in general, before you do this class, but it's only one ruler. That's all you need. And the final block. Next. I can't wait. I'm almost done. Uh, this will be done this week. All right. I got to hurry up and open up the doors. So I hope everybody has a great day and we will talk to you later. Let me know if you need anything. Bye.